Good readings and salutations, universe. This is Krita, and this is Feed the Beast Interactions. How are you all doing? Hello! Ah, so, in this episode, I kind of want to just keep the progress rolling, you know? Have a good time, enjoy. Uh, so I think the first thing on the docket is I want to be able to make a universal pulverizer. Boom, there we go. Um, this little logistics request table, I thought, I, I, I've gone back and forth between whether it's going to be useful and not useful. Um, starting to think it's fairly useful. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, let's see. Has my ore processing finished? No. Not even remotely. Um, though this one is, so we can replace this one. Uh, whenever, you, whenever I get an opportunity to replace a... Uh, pulverizer, I think it's the most useful one. Um, pulverizers seem to have a propensity for amazingness, right? So if I take out this blue crystal block and I pulverize it, you get a higher chance of the good stuff, in this case Neo Diamond. Um, speaking of which, I think I want... I feel like Neo Diamond is awesome, so I'm gonna put that in my full... in my first pulverizer spot and all this stuff will just get ground up right there boom wow that's a that's a lot of not seeing what we need there we go neo diamond um, not that we need it yet but you know it's nice uh, the next step uh, oh can you hear the kitty in the background hi kitty uh, the next step that I prepped is I want to make our first IV machine and uh, for that we need a hull so there we go quest complete we get that uh, ooh, tungsten dust. I like tungsten dust. And we're going to do that later. But for right now, I just want to have the motors so that I can actually make some stuff with said motors. So we'll toss it right back in, and I'm going to see if we can get everything we need for IV stuff. So, as always, the first machine I usually want to make is the assembler. And... Oh, I think these are the machines that start to really look nice, um, or just they are the nicest looking, the tier, right? Um, so let's see, can we make two arms? Just give it a shot. Try for me, and I'll come back later to take a look if you're capable of that. Um, uh, I need to make more crafting things. At one point I had them like that, but these guys are sort of temporaries uh, for creation of stuffs and stuff. Um, I needed an epoxy chemical bath and then I needed to have some... Uh, I wasn't able to make IV and EV conveyor belts, I think it was. Yeah, because these guys require the actual level of assembler to make the thing, um, which isn't very friendly as far as I'm concerned. Um, so this guy needs an upgrade and this guy needs an upgrade as well because I want to be able to make uh, IV good chips um, and then with IV good chips I'll probably be able to skip right ahead to LUV um, but I won't want to for right now uh, alright let's take a look now that we're working on that assembler uh, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, tungsten takes a long time. I need to improve my power system down here. Um, I just haven't got around to it. Um, I do need to do that though. Uh, yes. So let's take a look at what questy quests we are able to do. First of all, it gave me some diamond dust and some cooked tofurkey. Yum. Uh, how many of you have had cooked tofurkey? Personally, eh, I. Uh, you know, it's okay. Uh, I feel like the the fake stuff has gotten a lot better in the last ten or so years. When I was young, I had a, a, a Thanksgiving where that was what we had, and it was terrible. And I've had a Thanksgiving where that's what I had more recently, and it wasn't that bad. Um, okay, so I'm instead I'm gonna work on this stuff in the background. And then once I have my assembler, I'll work on getting the good processors. I think the these ones, right? Yeah, these are the good ones. They don't require the previous ones to make it. Um, I'm really looking forward to cheap circuits 
uh, and I think we might be able to start seeing those soon. Um, so like if I wanted to make quantum processor, what age do I need? LUV, nano, what do we need? LUV and integrated uh, da, 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 Ivy. Um, so we might be able to start making certain ones right now. It requires these SOCs, but I don't know why I would possibly make uh, an MV machine at this point. Quite pointless. And the actual stuff is so cheap, like that's nothing. Uh, so an SOC for them is not really worth it. Um, but let's see, how do we make those just so I can sort of prep my mind? Naquada dope stuff. That's interesting. Uh, Naquada ingot with a ton of silicon. Wow, and argon. Nifty. Um, I don't know. I think I stopped my production of argon. I don't think I have a whole ton of it. Maybe I do. Actually, I think I do, right? Yeah, heaps of it. So I'm just going to upgrade a few of these. Um, upgrade. Yeah, just got out the whole lot of them. Let's just boink, boink. Oh, that's a bit loud. And yeah, you too. Why not? Perfect. Um, you never know when you're going to need 225, oh no, 2,000 buckets of argon. I know we're going to need hydrogen. Um, I just need a really good source of it. Man, that's dipping fast. What am I using for that right now? Huh. I'll look into it. Need more hydrogen. All right, what is sort of the next big progression thing? If I look at this, this is sort of the, a very broad overview um, of where we're going. Uh, the next step is a dragon heart. Um, interesting, and that's, requires a Euclides prime, hmm, okay. Well, it looks like we need to go to the end is basically what I'm understanding. Um, La Fin. How do we get there? All right. End stone. I think we're making that, aren't we? An evil tear. Indium. Okay. High covalence dust. Yeah, it looks like we can make that. What about indium? Indium. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, indium gallium. Oh, wait, no. I clicked on the wrong thing, didn't I? Indium. Yeah. Where do I get this from? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Small Indium Game Development Company. Oh, from aluminum and indium concentrate. Oh, it's going to be one of those really annoying things, isn't it? Oh. But let's take a look, see if we can figure out the rod, right? I, I saw the end rod was something we needed. I assume that's quite simple. Yeah, that doesn't look that bad. Oh, you need one already. Oh, come on. End stone. We have most of that. So I think the main thing we need is a phantom bridge reagent. And that doesn't even look that bad. Okay, let's take care of the end rod first. It looks the most simple. Um, and I assume that we have most of the things for the assembler. So I'm going to get that started as well. Uh, IV assembler. Beautiful. Uh, yoink, yoink, and start. Fantastic. I'll come back and take a look at that uh, when I start seeing stuff in here, right? Platinum, it's coming in. All the stuff will come in. Um, what do we need to make? And just like that, I think this will be giving us plenty of these phantom bridge reagent things. Um, I don't, how many did we need? Two? Oh, whoops. Ah, just two. I'm good. Um, I don't think we'll need to make more unless they're really cool. Uh, I mean, the name suggests that it makes a bridge. I don't know. Um, mostly I'm interested in using them, so we'll just do that, shall we? Uh, void, crystal, flawless coal, and a mana pearl. Please tell me I have some coal. Whew, that's good. Um, what was the other thing? It was a crystal. 
beautiful. And while I was getting things together, in fact, relatively quickly, um, I got all the stuff we need for the IV assembler. Beautiful. And there's no quest for it. That's not dumb, dumb. <laughs> I wanted a quest with rewards and stuff. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Uh, as always, I think the one I'm going to replace is uh, this guy. Perfect. And just yoink him out. Um, now, I'm not entirely too sure that we have enough power to, uh, you know, do the job on this little fella. Um, what's a workaround? What is a workaround? Um, might be able to do a, a, a point or whatever it is. Um, signal cables. Uh, what do we got for you? Signal. Um, if I just reroute some of this stuff to back here, let's see if we can yoink out that. Beautiful. I'll make it pretty later. Um, and get a point, I think it was. Is it a point? Inserts energy, yes. Beautiful. We're just gonna yoink a point down like so, and then we're gonna place down the assembler itself. I don't know if that'll be enough energy to run it, but hey, it's better than what's back there, I think. Uh, and then we're going to replace this guy with the EV one. Beautiful. Yoink. And uh, this guy will just be able to actually do a few more, uh, the EV conveyor, and then we'll replace him as well for the IV stuff. Um, and then I really want to get out the nasty, nasty EV, nope, not that one, conveyor belt recipe. There's that. Uh, did I replace that one already? I did. Beautiful. Um, just placing that in here. How do we make that? Uh, processing like so I just like it in the in this way a whole lot more I don't know why it just seems nicer to me perfect there we go all right I do have the stuff I think to make this bad boy so let's get this going um, we're gonna place you in there and we need it was four of those two of those two of those beautiful um, so let's do the twos on the bottom like that. I don't think it matters at all. I'm just weird. Yoink, yoink, and the empowered crystals up like that. And it should be as simple as start, but I don't seem to see it. So what did I do wrong? This guy wasn't set to single, so when I placed it here, uh, he grabbed my Lapatron crystal. What a grumpy little thing, huh? Let's try it again. Ah, good. Start that up. Um, it is really cool looking. I love this, but uh, I feel like it's going to take just a little while, so I'm going to go and uh, and do some work like that. Um, you know, these Lapatron crystals are pretty cheap. I wonder if I could make a power bank of them. I want, I want to do that. So, let's see. What do we need for a battery buffer of like 16 of these bad boys? Um, battery 16 EV. Whew, that's a lot of aluminum, but aluminum is pretty much free. So let's get together some aluminum. Oh, did I already do it? Sweet. I like it. I like that a lot. I like it when I have something in mind and I totally forget that I did all the prep work for it. That makes me happy. Um, Fantastic. We'll just do it in here since I think we have all the stuff. Fantastic. Pull it on out. Um, let's take a look at the crafting. 33C. We have plenty of time. Um, and just like that, an extreme battery buffer. Uh, where am I going to put you? I don't know. I don't necessarily want to put it... Uh, I want to put it in between this plug and the machine itself. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, that should work perfectly. 
Uh, we're also going to need a lot of Lapatron crystals. Um, so let's just craft up, I don't know, can we do 10? Hey, yeah, that's what I like. That's what I like a lot. Um, and we'll just pull out the crystals. Fantastic. I don't need the Lapatron blocks. I like that. Um, probably another five, because five, isn't that bad? Beautiful. And how are we doing? 50%. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to set this up, and we'll be right back. Oh, And just like that, we have an extreme voltage battery buffer, which is just going to slowly fill. I don't use a whole lot of power all the time, but uh, when I do, it's quite explosive, um, the amount that I need. And let's take a look at what, what's going on here. Man, it's so slow. Why are you so slow? It's because it requires a lot of power, let's be honest. Um, let's run down here and take a look. What's going on with my... Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that explains it a little bit. Um, I do need to get a new Spectre Energy Injector. Um, I wonder, can we just put a point on that? Why not, right? Just give it, give it all the juice. Uh, no. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Output a negative ton? Why? What's going on? Well, it, it's definitely charging. Um, that might have been a bad decision, but, you know, it's okay. How are, are these guys just, like, immediately drained? Ooh, that's a bit of lag. Something's, something's unhappy about that point being there. Woo! Even rubber banding. Oh, my. Waiting for server. <laughs> uh... <laughs> And I don't feel like it's going much faster, so I think I'm going to remove that point. That was a bad idea. Alright, so I had to actually restart my world, and we lost our progress on this. Very sad. Um, oh, uh, apparently we didn't lose our progress. It just kind of paused it. That's cool. I like that. Um, I'm going to try tossing him on this, and see if that... Oh! <laughs> that worked really well. <laughs> Ah, uh, cool. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. <laughs> All right. Um, so there's our end rod. So there's part of it. Um, next up, I need to figure out how to get indium. Um, and I think it said I need this indium concentrate stuff. Jeez, that's a that's some very specific stuff. Purified galena, sphalerite, and sulfuric acid. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this, uh, the, the lead zinc stuff, totally useless. Um, but, uh, I made a indium dust along with put a little mixer here. Ta-da! And this should be getting us high covalence dust. These points are so useful. I don't have to set up any, like, specialized cabling for it or anything. Just slap it down and it'll work with almost any of my machines. I love it so much. Um, speaking of that point, I'm kind of curious how that battery is doing. How are you doing, buddy? Yeah, just uh, not charging at all. Why not? What's wrong? It's outputting. Is it doing that really annoying thing where it like doesn't realize it wants to be charging? Huh. I'll, uh, I'll look into that at some juncture. For now, let's jump back up here um, and take a look. We needed some of this high covalence dust for the infusion crafting on the whatever the thing the indium is needed for, right? This evil tear along with nocturnal powder and wither ash. Um, nocturnal powder, we have heaps of that. I was always grabbing that in the dungeons along with some wither ash from withers fight wither fights and stuffs um so let's see evil tear was it i think it was what are you used for um anything critical no doesn't really look like it eclipsed thing okay cool um you know i'm i'm also fairly certain we have most of that stuff so that's fantastic i like it when i have everything already 
beautiful. What was the centerpiece of this? Just the gas tier? All right. Um, gas tiers, I should have plenty of those, but eh, that's more than I need, I suppose. Um, and do we just risk it for the biscuit? I, I feel like I have most of the things. Um, and yes, I did expand that. Uh, just try it. Right? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, uh, I know what could go wrong. Not having our stabilizers down because I've started to remove those in between crafts. That that could be really bad. Whew. I don't I don't know if that saved us, but we'll find out. Um, I'm starting to get nervous, but it still looks like it's flowing and and stuff. Though I just got damaged. Why am I getting damaged? That's not good. Um. Let's see. Guess we'll, we will take a look and see what we need. Uh, oh, the poison stuff? Crap. No! Poison stuff, we need you. Where are you at? Poison stuff. Uh, Alchema. Poison. Go, go, go. I'm, I'm being slowed by something. I don't know what. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Go, 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 go. Get in there. Come on. You can do it. Now, from here, get over to here. It's not complicated. Oh, how terrible is that, right? That I don't check. That is just absolutely atrocious. Um, all right, put away that. We got what we needed. Oh. Oh. Even though I have like the flux cleaner thing, I don't know why I entertain um, letting that go for so long. I should have checked. I should have. Uh, but let's just take out the sponge. Just <laughs> to clean up 1,000 freaking flux. That's so bad. <laughs> ah, Alright. All clean. Um, let's see. Evil tier acquired. Perfect. Alright. Let's craft the ender por portal right i think that's what we're gonna do um how does it work la fin la fin beginning of the end um using these materials in the world you can construct the artificial end portal from random thingies and finally access the end dimension okay all right i think we have everything we need um I have an end rod, evil tier, ten end stone, and a little circle of obsidian in a very, very dark room. Um, the dark room is not necessary at all. I just thought it'd be cool uh, because I want the main feature to be what's below. Um, I, sh I think uh, this is the right height. There's only one way to find out. A little bit more light in here now. Hopefully bats won't spawn. Um, if I understand it correctly, we just right click. Oh, 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 look how cool that is! Oh. <laughs> That's all we got for this episode. In the next episode, we're jumping in that hole. Bye!